Let's get serious here. You're not hardcore unless you live hardcore. Almost there. Uh-oh, the wind. We're sailing good, bad, and ugly. Three years ago, we bought our boat off Craigslist for $5,000. I'm Kristen, and this is Matt. We are known to break the rules and do things a little less traditional. Hit subscribe to join the adventure. Thanks to our patrons for keeping us going. What's up guys? Welcome back to Sailing GBU. We are still currently in our anchorage that we sailed to last week. We're in Patillas of Puerto Rico and the weather hasn't been looking too good. The wind seems a bit strong, right? Yeah, the wind's been, you know, gusting high 20s, uh, low 30s, and it's planning to do that for the next couple days. So we're kind of sitting tight. We're making a commitment to sailing as much as we can. We just wait till the middle of the night when it's calm and just kind of motor over there. But we're not trying to do that. We're trying to commit to sailing this year and sail as much as we can. So we're going to wait till the weather gets at least below 25 before we shoot over to Vieques. We'll be moving more eastward. But this is a good little anchorage. There's a reef out there. It's a great staging point. It can be a little bit rolly. But it's a good little spot to get you out of the weather and it's really not too bad. And it's a beautiful anchorage here. I love it. It's good that we're here for a couple days anyway, even though we're trying to sail more. I got a little bit of work to do to my engine. It's just more out of a morbid curiosity. I worked with my shifter cable and I kind of made some adjustments and it was working better, but we ran aground in here last week and I had to in and out real quick. So uh, I think I kind of messed something up in there. So I'm going to get in there and see if I can make it work because I just want to see if I can fix it. And we're going to show you what our engine looks like. A lot of people don't know if we've been not keeping it a secret, but not showing it to its full look. Yeah, it's our secret shame. And I have to get into some engine work, but you guys hate working on engines. I hate working on engines. So today, today's about fun in the sun. I gotta charge my, my happy batteries back up before I get in there and deal with that diesel monster. Yeah, we're going paddleboarding today. It's Sunday, it's fun day, everyone's out and about, and let's get some drinks and let's go have some fun. Let's do it. So apologies if there's wind out here. It's pretty gosh darn windy today. But we pulled around the corner and the beach was super crowded. It's good to see the people having fun, but we paddled a little bit farther, found ourselves a nice, beautiful, secluded beach. That's where it's at. Now, we're just gonna enjoy ourselves, let the sun come in, you know, it's going in and out of clouds. Oh, I see those boats are racing over there now. Racing boats. Yeah, we got a nice little beach to tan our cheeks on.
All right, guys, so this is one of the things about life and about sailing. You see right here behind me, beautiful mountains, beautiful lady, beautiful water. And then you turn just a few degrees and ba-bam! Big old storm out there, and that's what happens a lot in sailing. You know, things can go good, but they can go bad real quick. So keep, you, keep your eyes on it. All right, guys, so I thought I had a tick on me. But it was, well, it was just that little guy. Little tiny baby, baby lizard. Pretty cute though. Hope he has a good life. Got a hard one ahead of him. We're at this beach and I came up with a great idea. I think I should make Matt climb up one of these palm trees and grab me some coconuts. I wanna try to make some homemade coconut milk. Let's see if he can get up there. Hey, but what do I get if I climb up the tree and get some coconuts? Maybe some delicious treats that I make with my recipe. But if I climb the tree like a monkey, then I'm gonna want some jungle love. Oh we oh we oh you can get jungle a love a banana hell no all right well we looked at every tree around here and only found one with some fat nuts some i mean <laughs> sorry some fat coconuts on there and uh it's pretty high it looks like it's about i'm gonna call that 25 feet so I can try to shimmy up there and get them. Everyone already got the lower ones of the lower trees, yep. so. Big Mama wants coconuts, she gonna get some. <laughs> I don't know about this. Almost there. Uh-oh, the wind. I got a pretty good haul, I think. What do you think, Mama? This is gonna be enough for your uh, honeydew, honey milk recipe or something <laughs> It's like coconut that? milk, and coconut maybe, milk? I don't know, I never made it before, I think so. That looks like plenty. Plenty? You think I can juggle these bad boys? Uh, I dare you to try. Oh, okay, you dare me to try? It's a dare. It's official, guys, you heard it here. Ready? <laughs> you thought, though. <laughs> Had a lot of fun at the beach but we kind of got kicked out by the no seams after that rain came we got eaten alive but we're gonna get back on that paddle board and we're gonna try to go into one of these nice bars on the side it's always kind of weird when you pull up to a restaurant in your paddle board but you know what that's the boat life looking damn good. This is what I like about Puerto Rico. You know, you go back, it's lost tranquilo. You got even the paper plates you get served. 
you know, I'm into that. I'm not into the hoity-toity putting on airs. Throw that fried fish on a paper plate and let's get down. All right, guys, so I get a lot of traffic lately, a lot of questions about my 5K Craigslist boat. People kind of think it's a dream, and they're like, wow, I got $5,000. I'm going to go buy a boat and sail across the Caribbean. But I want to kind of get into a little bit more of the nitty-gritty with that because our engine is really banged up. It's all tore up. So I kind of want to show you what you can really expect to get for that sort of price range. Okay, so one of the major reasons we didn't really care too much about the motor, the engine, whatever it's called, you savvy dogs out there, is that we planned on sailing. We've only motored maybe 50 hours in the last three years, 50 total hours. I don't even, I think the longest we've ever motored in one shot was like 20 miles, and that was leaving the Dominican Republic. So we don't use it very much. I installed a custom tank that's only 14 gallons, so we don't even carry enough diesel to go 100 miles. So basically, we planned on sailing. If you plan on motoring more, 5K Craigslist boat really might not be in the cards for you. You may want to get your money up a little bit more. But I want to get in there and show you some of the main reasons why the motor isn't uh, reliable. So if this looks like a lot of fun to you, get the cheapest boat you can afford because you'll be down in a hole like this quite a bit. One of the main problems with this diesel engine is that the person that had it before me, I think was just kind of over his trip and was just didn't care anymore about maintenance and things like that. There's a raw water loop vent here that I think what it does is it creates like an air, so the air doesn't lock in there and then the water starts coming back in from the muffler, the exhaust system. So that had a salt water leak in it. So basically you can see that's about a third of the way in above my engine and it just rained salt water, raw water, all over the engine. So the back of the engine, the bolts, everything's rusted out completely decomposed back here so i couldn't take these bolts off to work on this motor even if i wanted to but fortunately i don't really want to because i'm not qualified so that's just a good excuse i think <laughs> all right so another big problem i had is my transmission you guys probably have seen me driving backwards in anchorages over the years i've driven backwards into what five six countries now either way i'm a professional backwards driver i've backed into the bahamas cuba the DR, Puerto Rico, all over these spots, Turks and Caicos. So backing up is fine, but what I can't get to my transmission to do is go back into forward gear once it kind of heats up, once it gets to operating temperature. I can always put it into reverse, but I can't get it to go into drive anymore. Even if I lower the RPMs on the engine, it'll fall out of forward and it won't work anymore. So I got some advice from an old salt that said it's probably my shifter cable. I can't get a shifter cable pack mailed to me where I'm at right now so I just kind of like went down there with some bolts and this like piece of uh, stainless steel rigging and I extended the shifter cable a little bit and it did work pretty well but it's not a hundred percent perfect but it was working a little bit better all right guys so I hope you enjoyed a peek into my secret shame I get tons of messages comments questions people saying that they want to do this and I just didn't want to steer anyone in the wrong direction and say, oh yeah, just put it down, get a boat, go crazy. Uh, because it is pretty serious out there. It's something to be taken very seriously and for comfort. There's been times where we were forced to sail. There's times where I would have, even in my stubborn hard-headedness, would have hammered down and just ripped it 100 miles to the next anchorage if I could. Um, but looking back, you know, it's kind of fun to dig deep and gut out some of those hard sails, but it, it wasn't easy. You know, you're going to enjoy your cruising a lot more if you have a really solid motor. So I hope that wasn't too boring for you guys to watch. I just wanted to show some of the realities of a purchase like this, or even trying to go for the dream on a really low budget. That being said though, I wouldn't take it back for the world. The last three years have been some of the best years of my life and Working on the engine, the hard sailing, you know, it gives you a little bit of leverage to talk some trash because basically you're not hardcore unless you live hardcore. And if you motor to every anchorage, you're not hardcore, but you're probably happier. All right, guys. So the other day, like you saw, I got Matt to grab me some coconuts. Now, I don't know that much about coconuts. I know that there's a brown coconut you get at the grocery store and then you got these. So I was planning on making coconut milk and then I looked into some recipes, I googled some stuff, and it turns out these are mainly for coconut water. They come 
the caramel at the top and you can drink it. The water's sweeter than the other coconuts. And the other coconuts are like mature brown coconuts or some sort of other type. And those are the ones with the thick meat. But I'm still gonna try to make coconut milk because I saw one lady do it before. And you just have to, it has, doesn't have the thick white meat. It just has a little bit of jelly type of coconut. So I'm gonna scoop that up and I'm still gonna try to make some. So let's get into this. I'm gonna start cutting things up or making Matt cut it if it's too hard for me, which it could, it possibly could be. So I think the best tool to use for chopping up these coconuts is gonna be my whoosh, leave it to cleave. <laughs> what was that sound effect? Whoosh, a little fanfare, you know? Whoosh. Anyway, my boy Oleo gave me this. You guys might have remembered this cleaver from when I had to chop up the back of my stove to cut a hole in it. But now we're gonna sharpen it and we're gonna chop some coconuts with it. So I'm gonna just try to chop off the top edge without cutting off my whole entire hand and then cut a little hole in the top and then I'm gonna pour the juice out and then later we're gonna scoop out the goodies. So here we go. I don't wanna cut my whole hand off, I'm scared. Ugh! Okay, I need to be more aggressive. I gotta be angry at this coconut. Die, coconut! Die! Let's get serious here. It's working, guys. Oh, snap. Oh, I did it! Look, I did it! Suck it to you, suck it to you. I'm really working off the sweat, guys. I think I'm only gonna be able to do one here and make Matt do the rest of them like I always do. He doesn't care, guys, so don't think I'm a bully. He doesn't care. All right, so now that I got this off, do I cut open a hole at the top or is it not quite ready for that, Matt? Um, yeah, cut the hole in the top. With this? Yeah, I use the butt of it because it's safer. Why can't you just do this? Oh, snap. Ooh, it's full. It's a full juicer. All right, here's the juice. I'm gonna try it right out of the fresh yamage. <laughs> Let's see. Mmm, it's sweet. Sweet, delicious coconut water. I'm gonna get Matt to cut these up so it goes a lot faster, and then I'm gonna pour all the water out into a separate container, and then we're gonna get in there and scoop out the coconut. coconut water. Ah, man, this is so good. Reminds me of my old landscaping days when we used to bust coconuts in the middle of the day. But quick word of caution, even though we got tons of water from all these coconuts, if you drink too much of this, it will give you the bad girl riris and you will be blowing out your sphincter muscles. What? You've done that before? Mm -mm. I heard, I saw a Naked and Afraid. Oh. It's got a lot of sugar in it, so some guy doo dooed in front of the tent. <laughs> All right, guys, so as we found out, as we were cutting them open, you can see some have more meat than others. I'm guessing that means that this one's older. So this one has a good amount, and we're actually gonna be able to make some good coconut milk, I think. This one was a little bit thinner and not so much meat, more jelly-like. We collected the meat and we got a lot of meat. 
more than I thought we were going to get, like actual solid good pieces. So next, the, they said that you're supposed to add some of the coconut water in and then part regular water, depending on how thick you want your coconut milk. So we're going to use our Ninja little blender bullet thingy and we're going to blend it all up with a little bit of coconut water and a little bit of regular hot water and then we're going to see what happens see if we did it i'm gonna i reread up and i think i'm just gonna use coconut water not regular water i'm just gonna put some meat in here and i'm just gonna do a little bit blend a little water at a time because i don't know how much it's gonna be some trial and error here we go and if you notice our blender cup matt broke it so we had to duct tape it but you know what that's okay Are you okay? Don't worry guys, just the boom hit me in the head. Here we go. I can't see because it's taped. Here we go. Oh shoot, that scared me. Looks like I need a lot more water. Getting a little milk here. It's like frothy. So I made a thicker coconut milk and a thinner one. I have a special recipe I want to do with the thicker one tomorrow. So we'll see about that. So the next day I put the coconut milk, the really thick stuff in the fridge and I froze some pineapples. I'm going to try to make a, I guess it would be a vegan ice cream. So I'm going to use this pineapple and honey and vanilla for the sweetener and the flavor. So let's blend it up and then I got to put it in the freezer and hopefully it's delicious. Is that vegan honey? I don't know man. Stuff yeah, it can't be vegan. Stuff. You trust me, I'm not having the vegans come for me and say, pretty sure that honey I, was from animal you husbandry. You don't have to sweeten it. You don't have to sweeten it. You can not put this in. This really, you can just use these two items and make some. But why, who wants ice cream that's not sweet? Trust me, the last thing you want to do is misquote something. I guess something. this will add a little sweet to it. You don't say something's vegan if it ain't vegan. That's how you get in big you trouble. Know what, man? Get off my <laughs> cooking show. Next, blend it. The rum in the coconut. Put the rum in the coconut. Do we have any rum? I think we should add some rum. We could have like rum milkshakes. We got vodka. All right, so because it's a cloudy day and my solar's not kicking too hard, I'm gonna just pour it a little bit into here so I can get it frozen faster. So, you know, one serving of delicious ice cream. I tasted it and it tastes good, I think. So if this comes into good ice cream, guys, you better start collecting your coconuts. So it keeps raining around here. We don't know what's going on, but that ice cream, it came out pretty good. It tasted really good. I'm surprised that you can make so many things with just coconuts that are in trees. I've never gathered any coconuts before. Yeah, I think all these vegans might be onto something. Those coconuts <laughs> were delicious. There's a lot of things you can do with them. We didn't get too adventurous. We said, you know, it's kind of hot down here. Let's just do some ice cream. But basically you can make bacon. You can use it as a meat substitute. And they, they might be right. I did barbecue a little bit the other day. It wasn't good. <laughs> well, anyways. Matt has a funny story to tell that happened to both of us, so... So we juiced the coconuts, we saved the water because we had like, I don't know, a gallon or so of it. So in the middle of the night we were getting up, you know how we all do, grab a bottle of water. And uh, coconut water was just in with the regular water, so we both picked it out and just chugged it. And the thing about chugging coconut water when you have that like midnight thirst is you can't taste it until you've already chugged like half the <laughs> bottle. And as soon as you stop drinking it, you're like... Ugh! And you kind of freak out. And the and worst part is that happened to you first, and then you didn't mark the bottle, yeah. and then I did it, and you laughed at me. It's pretty funny. I was on the phone with my mom, chatting it up with the old gal, by the boot, like you, and uh, you know, moms and and ladies always have like a beef, a natural beef together. So we do not have a. I told my beef. mom the story because I saw Kirsten drinking it down. <laughs> It was a pretty funny little thing. So mom had a good laugh. So there you go, mom. There's your shout out for the vid. <laughs> well, guys, make sure you like this video. Subscribe if you're new here. And we'll see you next week. This weather better let up and we'll be off.
The, the weather, it can't last forever. Remember that. You know, I'm going to put that on a t-shirt. Weather don't last forever. <laughs> but hey, let us Bye. know. No, wait. No buy in. Let us know what your favorite vegan meat is if what? you're vegan out there. Hey, we got coconut meat vegans. Let us know. What's a good vegan meat substitute if you know any. Bye, guys. <laughs>